Hey guys, welcome into another weekly portfolio update. Uh, this is actually my second time recording this video due to a technical error. The technical error being that I forgot to plug my microphone in, unfortunately. Uh, anyway, just going to be a short video, uh, quick update. So, yeah, June, week two, my stocks are down $1,859. House is up a little bit at 650 k net worth 321000 Total worth of stocks, 34,677, with a uh, cost basis of 61,000, leaving me with a total loss of $26,323, or 43.14%. Uh, Crypto is down 50 bucks, uh, not much movement there. Yeah, looking at the stocks, you can see all my positions here. Um, yeah, sort by total change, and you can see they're getting absolutely ruined. 42% down at the like the good end, 90% down at the worst end. <coughs> and if you sort it by market value, you can see Corsair is by far my biggest position now, uh, because Tattooed Shift has gotten more wrecked than Corsair Gaming has. Uh, that's the only reason. <laughs> um, yeah, looking at those same positions over in uh, Hatch, these are the same stocks that I showed in the other one, so I won't pause on them too long. This is just to show that those positions do exist. I do actually own those stocks. I am actually down that much. <laughs> um, yeah, past five days on the indexes, down, f or past week, I should say, is five trading days in a week. Um, yeah, 5.66% on the S&P. 7% on the NASDAQ and 5% on the Russell. If you look out, like a bit further out, six months out on these graphs, you can see that the S&P 500 is actually now re-bottomed. It's down where it was at the lowest uh, of May. Uh, the NASDAQ has not quite reached it. And the Russell is even further off that bottom. So we're seeing a bit of outperformance from the indexes that were doing the worst e.g. the Russell and the NASDAQ. My stocks, so Corsair Gaming down 8% this week, 6% uh, Tattooed Chef down that is, uh, almost 10% down on Palantir, 13% on Honest, 9% on Smart Oak Club, Fiverr almost 12%, 3% for Plant 13. So yeah, huge red week across the board. Uh, looking at the forward PE metrics as of two days ago, the 9th of June, 2022. Um, we are seeing the small and mid caps down here. They're extremely uh, low valuations based on where they historically have traded at. Uh, large caps are, you know, kind of more towards the high end still. But yeah, we've got a lot of stocks in good value territory within the smaller mid caps so that's where i'd be looking for any opportunities uh yeah crypto nothing too interesting in terms of price movement ethereum is a little bit down this week maybe a 100 bucks down a um, little bit interesting uh, for ethereum uh, they've actually delayed the ethereum uh, difficulty bomb so it's kind of a precursor to the merge. They had a difficulty bond that was due to go off and they've just let it go off. Basically, if it's allowed to continue to go off, then uh, the Ethereum chain will get so clogged up and congested that it will no longer be functional uh, with the intent that they are supposed to move to proof of stake before that happens. But when they delay it, they're essentially giving themselves more time to get to proof of stake. But they also said when they delayed it that, uh, or when they de decided to delay it, I don't know if the delay has actually been enacted yet, but they've made the decision already. Um, but yeah, they did say that it wasn't going to delay the actual merge. They were just delaying the difficulty bomb. So yeah. Just a little bit of news for Ethereum there. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much all I have for this video. Nothing really hugely interesting. Obviously, the economy is not doing great uh, in the US, which is where all my stocks are. Uh, New Zealand economy seems to be 
doing all right, to be honest. Um, lots of uh, lots of people out and about. Every time I go out, lots of traffic, people going places, um, people spending lots of money, lots of people getting pay rises. Uh, I mean, that obviously points to inflation, and we've seen a bunch of OCR rate hikes, uh, which is obviously pushing everyone's mortgages up, which I do believe will push house prices down eventually, but yeah, uh, I believe New Zealand economy is going to do a lot better than the US economy over the next few months maybe a year but yeah i don't know if it goes if it comes to a recession i believe the us will be much worse off than new zealand uh yeah also one random thing was notice like a lot of cruises are still booked up like the some of them are like fully booked but like people are still booking cruises uh so yeah interesting thing there tend to not expect that kind of stuff when everyone's predicting a recession but yeah i don't know don't know if that has any impact just thought it was interesting but yeah uh anyways that's pretty much all i got for this video so leave a like comment and subscribe um and have a great day see ya